Over the past month, I've been modding LEGO Batman 2, and I've made 11 characters so far. In each of those mods, I made a step-by-step -step guide to getting them working in the game, but I haven't been very clear on how to add a reference to the character, which is probably the most important step. So this video is meant to explain that and clear up any confusion. To start, I'll assume you've already extracted the game's files with QuickBMS. If you haven't, you can follow the guide linked in the description, and then get back to this video. The first thing you need to do is open your file explorer to your LEGO Batman 2 folder. It should be located in Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, LEGO Batman 2. Now go into the Characters folder, or Cares as it says, and scroll down to the Superheroes 1 underscore minifig apj file, which you will see right here. Let's make a copy of this and then delete the superheroes one underscore builder apj file. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do that step, but I will explain what you do with the copy. You're going to rename your minifig copy to the exact same name of the original builder file. So you make a copy of the minifig file and rename the copy to the same name as this builder file. I'm not 100% sure the purpose of this step and the intricacies of what it does, but I do know that it works. Now we have the minifig and builder file, and they currently are both identical. These two files contain references to each character in the game, and we won't be touching the minifig file at all to make sure that we still have references to the original characters in the game. Now we will open the builder file in a hex editor. It doesn't really matter which one you use, although if you'd like to know, I'm using Notepad++. So obviously before we make a reference, we should get a mod so that we can have a new character to make a reference for. I will be using my Batman DCEU mod. When you open the README file in one of my mods, I mentioned in step 2, 3, and 4 that the character's internal name is Batman DCEU. All caps, one word. So once we've done step 1, 2, and 3, which adds the character files, adds the character to the character grid, and gives it its name, we can move on to making the reference, which will allow the character to actually exist in the game. So back to the hex editor, we want to scroll down quite a bit until we get to the area that looks like this. You'll see references to characters which are structured like this. They start with MOBJ, then go to minifigs, slash, and then the character's name, in this case the male ceremony guest, which is the name of the folder that houses the character's files in the minifigs folder. Then, after the next slash, the character's name, which is the name of the CD and TXT files in that folder. To make a reference, you'll need to find one that already exists and is either the same amount of or fewer characters than the one we're adding. In my case, Batman DCEU is 10 characters, so I'll look for an existing reference that this will fit in. Now that I've found one, I've chosen Killer Croc, since it also has 10 characters. I could also use Killer Moth. I'll now type in where it says Killer Croc, both times, here in the folder and here for the file name. I will type in Batman DCEU, exactly the same as the file and folder name. Once I save this file, the character will now show up in the character grid wherever I placed it in the collection file and we'll have the name I assigned it in the text.csv file, which are steps in all the readmes of my mods. So now you should know how to add a character reference for new character mods, and I'll be sure to leave a link to this video in all my future mods to make this step easier for those of you who didn't already know this.